Welcome to Dexter Plays Rebuild 3 Gangs of Deadsville, a game by Sarah Northway and Northway Games. Welcome to Rebuild 3 Gangs of Deadsville. This is a game put out by Norway Games. Um, we're looking forward to playing this. Uh, I've played the original two, uh, Rebuild and Rebuild 2. Those are actually free to play. You can find them on uh, various sites. Um, I played them on Congregate. Uh, so if you want to see what this is like and want to uh, save some money, go ahead and go grab those. If you like them, certainly come back and buy this game so that uh, you can support the, the publishers. Let's kind of jump in here. Actually, you know, it still sounds like that music is a bit loud. Turn it down some more. There we go. All right, let's jump on into the story. March 3rd, 2016. So begins my new life in Seattle, Washington. Now, for a fun day waiting for the cable guy to come connect the internet, I've got a couple of TV channels, but all they're showing is news about this crazy biting disease in Amsterdam. Sounds like they finally got it contained. Guess I'll unpack, take a shower, and enjoy me some time. So we're going to be... Dexter... Malthorn... Uh, let's see. Body type. Who are we going to be? Should we be an old geeky guy? Well, that's our choices? Okay, old geeky guy it is. Uh. Yeah, no, 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 no. Eh, maybe that one. Maybe that one. Yeah, jacket. I like the idea of a jacket. Let's do the jacket. No. No. Maybe. That one or that one? Let's do that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid that's me. Okay. Construction worker. Gang member. Politician. Shop clerk. Doctor. Hmm. Maybe I'll be the retiree. Ooh, look, a hobo. Yeah, we're going to be the retiree. Let's do that. March 4th, 2016. Containment failed. The internet, get internet guy, never came. This morning I woke up to what I thought were protesters outside, but I was wrong. Oh, I was so very, very wrong. They're fighting in the street down there with their hands and teeth just tearing into people. I saw a cop shoot a woman in the chest. Covered in blood, she just got up and kept fighting. March 5th, 2016. Rise of the Undead. On the news, they're telling us to stay indoors. They keep opening emergency shelters, but every time something goes wrong, it turns into another bloodbath. This infection is spreading so fast, it's in Vancouver and San Francisco now, too. They've shut down the airports, but it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. It's just too late. March 6, 2016. Venturing outside. I ran out of ramen and soda about the time the TV cut out. It was finally quiet outside, so I took what survive or survival gear I had and made my way out to the street. The last shelter they broadcast was 10 blocks away at a boys' private school. I made it halfway before I was attacked. March 6, 2016. It's bitten. I was so stupid. I don't know why I didn't have a weapon ready. I guess I thought I could outrun them. I mean, since they're zombies and all, but they're faster than they look. While I was struggling with one of them, a soldier ran up, pulled it off of me. He shot it in the head. That stopped it. But it was too late. <laughs> too late. Too late, I was bitten. Six, Sergeant Hester Hero. The soldier pulled me into a building and we waited there while the zombies wandered around outside. Then he saw my bite. He drew his gun and said he was going to make it quick. I knew what that bite meant. I had a day, maybe two to live, but I didn't want to die. I fought with him, the gun went off, and I killed him. I killed a good man who was trying to help, and I killed him. March 31st. So long, Seattle. After Sergeant Hester's death, things got blurry. I felt slept beside his body, waiting for the fever to start, waiting to die. 
but it never came. I snuck my way out of town. I was worried there'd be some repercussions for killing a soldier, but everyone was too busy to care. I've been working my way east through the suburbs on foot, scavenging what I need, and avoiding zoom zombie and human alike. Diane Moon. Been two years since the outbreak. I've been keeping myself moving from place to place. The few people I take up with seem to disappear or die before long. But I met this woman, Diane. She's different. She wants to stop running, to settle down, and build something that'll last. I'm going to help her. Snoqualmie? Diane found us a small town up in the Cascade Mountains named Snoqualmie. Lots of food, supplies, few Zed. We found a couple other survivors and rolled off a few city blocks to start. No more living in fear. Hiding like animals. It's time to make a stand. It's time to rebuild. Sequalami. Can we keep that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's go up to normal difficulty. Um, I did play the previous one, so I, I don't think I could justify an easy. Let's do this. I have not played this at all. So uh, this is all going to be new to, new to me. So we'll have to discover this together. I'm going to lie. To, uh, I'm not going to lie to you, Dexter. This town's seen better days. It's overrun by the undead. No power, no running water, no food, except for what we can scavenge and grow ourselves. Okay, Diane. Drag the map to look around and scroll to pinch uh, or, or pinch to zoom. We're safe in our five reclaimed buildings, but the darker ones outside are teeming with zeds. Click a building for more info. So I'm just going to scroll in. Hmm, buildings outside the fort may contain food, supplies, survivors, but there are also zombies lurking out there, so watch out! Drag a survivor onto a building to send them in on a mission. Okay, I can do that. Uh, I do know that the colors mean something, right? Yeah, I think the, the red is like a fighter type. Blue is leader. Scavenger builder, is that right? Think something like that. Okay. Click a survivor name to skew this. Okay. Ah. Yeah, builder, green builder. Okay, yellow scavenge. Got it. Every survivor learns one skill. Leaders by leading, builders by building, and so on. They can change by training at a school. You're special, Dexter. Of course I am. You can improve all five skills. Naturally. Okay. Well, let's, um, let's take a look here. Skills. Happy. Oh, I see. So that's sorting. Um, let's get our scavenger out. So this is our builder, right? Yeah, he, he's got nothing to build yet. So we'll leave him there. Scavenger, let's go take a look at this spot here. Scout. Already scouted. All right, what about here? Already scouted. Okay. There. Yeah, you can scout. All right. Uh, let's take turn there, and we're going to clear it of Zeds. Clearing out stray zombies stops them from becoming masked hordes, but until you reclaim the building, new zombies will just keep shambling back into it. Okay, so we're going to reclaim that spot. Let's take a look on our side here. We got five of six survivors. We got some food. We got materials. Medicine fuel. Everything's being equipped. That's good. Zero danger. Reclaim. Okay. And what do we got there? Game speed. Oh, okay. So we can turn uh, the turn base mode or, or go with uh, real time. So we'll do that real time stuff. So here we've got this going. I think I want to clear out one other. Oh, there's some people here. Let's see if we can go get them. Recruit. There we go. Well, let's go over two survivors. If you don't mind the, the decor, okay. 14 defense. So each of these adds defense, okay. Gives plus 10 defense and plus 5 to neighboring buildings. Oh. So ideally you want a police station to be on your border. And the original uh, taking over police station or, or making a stand someplace would increase the defense of the entire environment. 
scan out here a little bit. Looking to see if there's like an edge anywhere that I can use. Don't see it. My uh, happiness is going down. We're eating food. Okay. What's this here? Game speed. No, I don't need to haul, hide all but one. I'm good. All right, it looks like my scouting trip is going to be over here in just a second. Um, I, what I usually like to do is, is to try to push to an edge. Zombies killed, spotted resources, reclaim building. Okay. So what do we got here? Scavenge it. All right. So let's see. Uh, you are a scavenger, right? So yeah, go ahead in there and scavenge for food. So grocery stores, kind of food, malls. Okay, so they kind of associated the things. That's, that's cool. Um, add this building, reclaim it. So I got one guy on guard, and actually, you know what? I don't need a guard right now, so I'm just going to wander around the perimeter, killing zombies. And this person here, as well. So I, I know that in the previous games, uh, the number of zombies surrounding you had a determination about how, much, how big the zombie hordes that were that were coming to get you. Almost done trying to do a recruit. I think I might move over here for recruitment next. Uh, following signs of human habitation, I knocked on a door at the farm. The man who answered the door spoke softly. He said his name was Captain Warren. And he hoped somebody would come before it was too late for his friend. His friend is needing, indeed looking quite worth the worst for wear. Too feeble to even raise his head. We only have room for one of them. What should we do? We'll come back later. Okay. Can't wait too long or this guy's going to bite it. Oh, sorry. Did I say it that way? Found a knife. Sweet. Let's see. Equip knife. No, we're not going to have him equip the knife. We should have Seth here equip the knife, I think. Seth. How do I get to Seth? Skills to equip that. Um, here? Oh, he's on a mission, so I can't do that. I have to wait till he get back. Okay. Uh, you're going to go... What can you do down there? You can shoot down there? Do I want to go there? No, I don't think I want to go there yet. I want to go to... Actually... Let me go over here and kill off some zombies. Sweet. Thank you. We're killing zombies. And kill zombies over there too. This is a pretty good start, I think. Nothing detrimental has happened to us yet. I'm trying to reclaim this building down here. Uh, got him over here scavenging away. Let's see, let's make this much found materials. Sweet. When Zed gather out beside our wall, they turn into a dangerous masked horde. It will soon attack. So better post somebody on guard duty beside it. Soldiers make the best defenders. Okay. So, yep. So, um... Guard. And you can also... Actually, I think location matters. Okay. So you guys are on guard. And, um... I think... Didn't I want to come over here? Yeah, Seth. I think I wanted you to equip something. Wait a minute. Hmm. Really, there are no mass zombies nearby to defend from. Drag this sword to another one to assign them something useful. Okay. Let me see if I can drag this... How am I supposed to set... Oh, there we go. Double click. Got it. 
You, come out of there. There we go. Now, I want to click on you again. There. Where do I do equipment? Oh, equip. There we go. Weapons. Knife. Done. Done. Excellent. All right, now that we're up there, you can go up there and guard. That's green, so I think that means that we're all good there. Where am I going to go? I think I'm going out this way so that I can get some... Uh, Ah! The Zed's number is no match for humanity's discipline. We met them head on and then used our improvised pikes to make them uh, zombie sush kebabs. Nice. One supermercial danger. We're fine. Done. I'm all happy with that. You're almost done. You. Is there anything to clear out? No. Uh, hmm. Oh, there are some Zeds there. So let's kill those Zeds. grow to at least 15 but yeah, yeah 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 i get it i get it we're gonna grow to buildings that's fine ah so you're done good deal all right so um actually how about land of drugs uh no not you that just clear this out I can recruit i can't build i'm looking to see if there's anything here i can build on nope not yet so I can do guarding, though, while somebody does recovery or killing. Uh, let's send me in to do the killing of many, many of these guys. Um, and then he... Oh, hello. Uh, how about we send him in to kill zombies off, too? And you get to go there and kill off zombies. Go. Oh. So we can stop that if we wanted to. Zombies killed. Very good. Now what can I do here? I can reclaim it. See that smiley face on the left? That's the average happiness of our people. If it's low, people might be refused to work or worse. Churches, bars, and time off missions can make them happier. Hmm, 4% danger, I think we're fine. Armored plated school bus just went tearing down Squalamy Main Street. Not sure why they were going so fast, but when they hit that pile of corpses, things really went flying. We could see the explosion from here. Looks like it took the entire bank with it. Might be something to scavenge there, or survivors. Lots of Zeds in the area, though. Not sure who we should send to take a look, but it better be prepared for anything. Okay, I think I can do that. You? Uh, neutralize hidden zombies before they can mass an attack. Uh, you're recovering. You're recovering. Uh, what am I? Well, actually, hold on. What am I at right now? So I saw the uh, number of, of people. One house left. Okay. So I still need a house. There are other factions aren't necessarily friendly. Uh, if they like us, they'll send us trading convoys. If not, watch out for raiders. Gustav. Funny little man with a caravan full of trade goods just pulled up. He has a thick accent and an even thicker mustache. Greetings, my friend. I am Gustav Pedler of the Strange and Exotic. I sell anything you need if you can afford it. If you want a good deal... You come meet me at the warehouse. We will make, how you say, good business transaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Gustav. Okay, Gustav. Whatever. Um, I got a body over. Hmm. Great. Good deal. Ah! Zombie attack. 7% danger. Heal Seth using medicine. Let our defenders stand. Yeah, just let him handle it. 7%. Jesus. Really? Okay, we're good, but we're also running low on food. Trade! Let's see, our stuff. Can haggle, mark up 65%. Ah! 
What do I want? What's that? Good for digging your way through a zombie's skull. Plus one defense and plus one scavenging. Plus three defense. Used automatically when somebody shoots a gun. Nice. What's the sledgehammer for? Defense and building. Building materials. I think I'm still good on ammo. And fuel. Uh, how about the, no, no, I don't, I'm not. No, I'm not selling. Sorry. No. No, 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 no. I don't want to sell any food. Bad, bad idea. Uh, I don't really want to sell anything, actually. And he's really... Eh. Nah. Blah. Forget it. Cancel. We'll, cut. we'll talk to you later. Okay? Well, let's stop here. So, let's take stock where we are at. We got 14 food. We need to get our food going. We're reclaiming some space over here. We need to reclaim... I think we need to get our, our farming going. So we need to get these spots. That one, probably maybe even expand over to here. What is this? Woods. Ah! So that's actually the edge. So I do want to go that way. I got a couple of those. What do we got here? Ah, graveyard. Great. 21 zombies. Not good. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and call this game here. Thank you for joining Dexter Plays Rebuild Three. Thanks for watching another episode of Dexter Plays. Subscribe and leave a like, and post down below any tips or tricks. Stay sharp.